All right. Welcome to Besiege. Like I was saying a moment ago, this has been out for a few years already in early access, but um, I think I want to try to start a new game. I don't mind restarting, if that's an option. Is it an option? Level editor. Because I've played a little bit of it already, but again, this just released into... Um, into production, into its full version. Mods, achievements, multiverse. Sec, let me see. There's an option. Reset world progress. No way to do that. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We'll just start from the beginning and progress that way. I gotta remember which one of these continents was the first one. I think it was Tolbrand. Now that's zone 16. Was it the icy one? Nope. Oh, it says conquered. Ypsilon. Zone 1. Southern Cottage. Alright, yeah, so we'll just pretend that this is... like a brand new one. Actually, it's a little zoomed in here. Let me fix the capture. Do a fit to screen. Really? No, we're not trying to be... Few seconds. Let's see. Actually, go back. In menu. Everything else is set the way that I want it. Full screen off. Yeah, resolution custom would be fine, because then we can set it to that. It should be right around... ...1280 by 960? No, that's a square. 1440 by 900? It's closer. We're popping all over the stream. by 900 yeah that's more like it that's exactly what I was looking for fit to screen much much better okay back to what we were doing we were in Ypsilon there we go now you can see the full screen you can see everything up here so for anyone who hasn't played it, Besiege is a craft game. Well, craft isn't the right term, I guess, in game mechanic terms. Um, it's a building game. You build your own siege engine and you have to try to accomplish the different tasks. In this case, we just need to destroy this house. That's it. We just need to destroy that house. I and mean, we could do that by putting a couple wheels here. Then we can just hit go, see what happens. Can we get enough momentum just to knock down the house with the simplest vehicle? Actually, it doesn't seem like we can. <laughs> Bump. Okay. So yeah, you could do a lot more. Let's make a little car. Let's, um, let's kind of have it come out like a square. We'll do the simplest thing. And one of my goals, usually, with puzzle solving in Besiege. I say that like I've played a ton of it. I've probably only played like three hours. 
But one of my goals is usually to try to accomplish the goal with the simplest thing possible. I'm not even putting any steering on it, it's right in front of us. Success. There isn't much going on in the way of music, is there? Let's, uh, let's put on our own music. Let's see here, let's get a playlist. Ambient synth, sure. Might be a little sci-fi. Next zone. Destroy the windmill, and it's up on a little hill here, so our current rig might not be able to make it up onto that hill. Or it might. Ah, uh, nope. So maybe it needs a little bit more power. There is something that I've been wanting to try. Take that down a little bit. So one thing I've been wanting to try is putting rockets on. Normally, actually we can also lower our vehicle to the ground so it doesn't start by falling. So then these rockets, and if you put it on your vehicle, they have a, a hotkey. Oh, it's trying to give me a tutorial here. Let's, um... There's a guidebook and everything. The rocket is T. And if you fire the rocket, like, it's just loose. It just kind of fell down on top there, and if you fire it, it'll... <laughs> well, we won with it, but uh, actually I want to to retry because there's one thing I wanted to try that I've never done before and I've seen I've seen other people do it and that is to put some rockets on the back and then to bolt them down like I never tried it because I always assumed that they would explode and they might this will be a first try for me. I just kind of want to see what will happen. They're also like one shot, like you can't really control. I don't think. Do we explode? They do explode. They exploded, but they didn't hurt us. Also, we didn't really move. <laughs> Did it give us just enough to get up? We'll see. Old Hal Battlefield. Reach the insignia. So, for this one, well, we should... I think I had the option to turn off tutorials, but... Nice. Now I'm not going to try to cheat. Tool tips on and off. What is this one? I need a tooltip for that. Advanced building, I have that off. Um, yeah, I was thinking that there was an option to... Uh, to actually turn off the tutorials. But that might have been on like the main menu. Anyway, let's go in here and remove the rockets. We need to be able to steer to navigate this minefield. There are bombs out here. Now we can either shoot them or we can develop the ability to steer. Let's take off our front wheels and even take off the front corners. Is this good enough? Put a couple steering hinges on. A couple of wheels and let's just give this a try as it is. Why not? Oh, there is another thing that I'd like to try, and that is with the key mapper, you can set the hinge to auto return, kind of like an actual car steering wheel, so it'll come back to center when you let go of the key. I like that. Sheepy sheep, you gotta move. Ooh, little, little wonky. Oh, nice.
perimeter wall. We have to destroy the stuff behind the wall. I mean, is that just as easy as driving around it? Oh, we have archers. Let's outrun them. Get up there. Yeah. How many can we beat with just this? Kill 70% of everybody. Well, can we do that just by running over them slowly? Are they going to attack? Whoa, whoa, bomb. I didn't see the bomb. Now we're on fire. Okay, let's start over. Okay, I see a couple of mines now. The archers are attacking. Definitely go for them. Oh, we can't back over anybody. The archers, they've done us in. All right, we need a better weapon. Now the question is, do we do something ludicrous? We have a lot of parts to choose from here. Let's see, mechanical, swivel joint, hinge, ball joint, spinning block. Slider, piston, let's do a spinning block. Let's see, spinning block just, okay, just goes. What if we put wooden poles on the spinner block? Okay, all right, I like where this is going. What if we then Tractable spring, simple rope, and pulley, grabber, decoupler, pistons, sliders. The slider would slide out from there. Yeah, okay, so it kind of shoots out while it's spinning. Not, not that. I guess we don't need the sliders, really. Uh, let's see. The weapons we have... ...include these blades. Which I kind of like the idea of making a big bladed helicopter, but we need the blades, blades to kind of angle down. Do we have a... There are hinges, but you can't... They just fall, right? Maybe the weight of the blades will pull down on them. Let's let's try. We can do something simple that we don't have to that kind of wobble. We can do something we don't have to control if we do it simply. They might be hanging down just low enough. Oh, but the friction of hitting somebody was not Not something that our armor could actually take. So let's say, let's do some braces. I think we want to brace our front, well. Brace our front. Can we brace these like this? I don't know if that's gonna help, but I hope. The blades are a little too high still. Alright, here's what I'm thinking about these. Take these out. Oops. And use a steering hinge. Rotate it so they're pointing downward. Another blade on this other side. No, no. And then these steering hinges, let's do an up and a down, we'll use uh, R and F, R, F. I think there's a way to copy that. Yeah, you just have to copy-paste, control-v. 
No, F angles up, R angles down more. I think we need to shield some stuff from the arrows, though. Yeah, our hinge broke. Our center broke. Nice, okay. So let's look at armor. We have some metal plates that we could put on here. Those arrows are attacking us from above. A couple of these. A little bit of those, maybe one on the front. Get some wheel shields on here. Though the blades might catch these. We'll see. Drive. Oof. Nope. Nope, nothing's breaking yet. We can't really turn. The steering's not really working the way that I thought it might. Go. Angle up. Angle back down some. No, we killed 70%. What happens if we angle all the way? <laughs> oh, it broke off. Get out of there before it spins. Next zone. Old mining site. Steal and deliver two iron ore. So we have to get these iron balls over here. Yeah, we could save our engine. We didn't save the other one. Well, we've just been building onto it. Let's uh, kind of clear off the top here. We got rid of a wheel. So I do think that we should move. Can we like just translate parts? Something we could do with advanced building. Translate blocks. Yes, move those forward. Do you do halves? That's interesting. And honestly, I think we should kind of redo the steering. But I think this should be... Can't connect anything to a wheel. You have to like build out to it. So what I was thinking was put the steering hinge here. See how this behaves. Yeah, I think that's a little bit more maneuverable. Though it has like one weak spot now. And let's uh, set that steering hinge. A little bit different now. Let's see, symmetry, allow intersecting placement. I didn't know that was an option. Mirror blocks, yeah, key mapper. Auto return. And I think that I would like to bring this up. And look at a plow. So honestly, it doesn't have to be that high, but I'm going to leave it. Also, no reinforcement on the front means that we might break. One. And it rolled away, but that's fine. Oh, I didn't really think about the fact that this one was up high. <laughs> it's alright. We can try to climb. Knock it down. Otherwise, we'd have to redo our machine. 
Don't get stuck. Get up there. Get up there and push it down. The plow is kind of in the way. We broke our plow. And we flipped over. Worst episode of Robot Wars. Let's... Think about this plow. So the pulley system... Click and drag to draw a rope between two points. Contractable spring. The sliders might be interesting with a rope, but we could just use a piston. No, I'm not going to go four yet. Okay. This is still low enough to get to this one. It is, just bump that. Aha! Bump, bump. <laughs> no, don't go that way. Gotta make a wide circle like we're playing truck simulator. You were made for this, quite literally. So with the quiet music. Destroy the stone tower up here. Oh, is it shooting at us? I'll get you. Our hydraulics probably will not collapse towards it. Okay, we need something better. Let's... Let's see what we can do with a simple cannon. Okay, it needs to be angled up a little bit. Take... I just want, just want these. Yes. Okay, and I want a steering hinge. Right here. And I want to set the keys for that steering hinge. Nope, nope. To R and F again. <laughs> yes. Did did that go over or did that go through the hole? I'm gonna need a, a replay on that one. Probably went over. It was just off camera, but boom. That's all you need. Cannon and a couple machines. Thin side fort. Use explosives to destroy. Cannon doesn't count as explosives? No. Alright, let's look at the explosive rocket. Need more than that. Hmm. What could we do that would get explosives over there? I've never successfully built any kind of catapult. Could try, and that might be a little bit of a tall order, but let's see. Contractable spring. I wonder how that works. So if we had if we had a hinge here. And we put a contractable spring here. Does that cause tension? No, up up here. 
Yes. But nothing releases that. Nothing's pulling back this way. Let's see. So what if we had this being pulled here? I guess pulled forward. How could we pull this back? How does the rope work? Rope winch. N and M. Hmm. So... Is it possible to decouple with J? Kind of. What if we have more springs? Does that cause more force? Mm, it's not super fast. What if it was a lighter? This might break from the tension, but what if it was just wooden poles? It doesn't seem fast enough. Can we set the tension on these? Ten times strength? N, M, N. Can't seem to get the rope to pull. Let's try half that. Contract with L? Oh! Okay, so what if we set them to 10? Toggle mode. Okay, I think we might need more ropes. If we can. Looks like we can attach to the side of a decoupler. N. J. Hoo -hoo -hoo. We might be in the business. Okay, let's say we have a holder. Now, something might spill out if we tip it that far, but... J. Cho-chunk! Oh, I'm super proud of this so far. Let's, let's save what we've got so far. These are some of the other stuff that I worked on before, so let's... I've never done a catapult. Catapult... A. Because we might make something better in the future. Alright, let's, uh, let's drop... a flaming ball in here, because we're... Or like that. Even though, well, no, we need to throw, let's throw a bomb. We need to blow this up with explosives. It was the whole point. <laughs> Who's the king? <laughs> that feels amazing. Destroy 90% of everything. Knights, tents, and cannons. Well, we can't do that with the, with the catapult. But I wonder if we can... Oh, no, there's arrows. <laughs> we do it with our own remains. Our wheels still work? No. Not well enough. Yeah, we need a different vehicle, but... Ka-chunk! I, I really want to try to take out the archers. Really fast with this. Let's see. Oh, we, 
we rolled our fingertips on it. No. See, we're getting hit, and it's bumping the bomb out. Ah! Roll it back, roll it back. Roll it back a little bit further. I think they popped one of the ropes, or they popped the hinge. Ah. Go back halfway. Now throw. Boom. Okay, we got some of them. Set the others on fire. All right, we need another. Let's, uh, let's save that again. Catapult A. Overwrite. Yes. I believe that worked. All right, so we need something that'll shield us from arrows. Charge us right through these knights. I don't think these cannons fire, do they? Oh, they do. But they're not really doing much. Uh, let's put on a bit of armor. Wood plating doesn't necessarily help that much. Crit pads. I've never really used those either. I don't think. So we need to armor up again. Kind of okay with like a mild armor. Like not covering every single square. Kind of saves on weight too. Honestly, we might be able to do it with this. Cannon overshot. It's got to take out the archers early. So we don't take too much damage. I think we left a hinge on there. Hey, there we go. Just by going after the archers, we ended up taking out enough people. Next. 